At this point, we have learned the operations of adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing fractions. But if there's a combination of these in one question, where do we start? Luckily, we have a way to help us with the order of operations. We just have to remember the imaginary word bed mass with one S. You've probably seen this before. Can you remember what these letters stand for? The B stands for brackets. Because this is on top, we start by doing any operations that are in brackets or parentheses. We do these before anything else. The E stands for exponents. Because this is second, we do any operations that involve exponents next. We'll group the D and the M together. These stand for division and multiplication. These are done after we've completed everything in the brackets and any exponents. They're at the same level, so there's no rule saying that one has to come before the other. We simply do multiplication and division in the order they come in the question. We also group A and S into one. They stand for addition and subtraction. These are also at the same level, so there's no rule saying that one has to come before the other. After every operation in brackets, exponents, and all multiplications and divisions are done, we do any additions or subtraction in the order they appear in the question. So we can use bed mass for helping us with questions which involve more than one operation with fractions. Let's do some examples. We want to find the answer to one third times two fifths plus three fifths. There are no brackets in this question, so we can skip this step. Also, there are no exponents in this question, so we can skip this step. We move down to division or multiplication. We see that we have a multiplication in this question. It's one third times two fifths. So we carry this out first. One times two is two, and three times five is 15. So the answer to the multiplication is two fifteenths. There are no more multiplications or divisions, so we move down to addition and subtraction. We have the fractions 2 fifteenths and 3 fifths to add together. In order to add fractions, they must have the same denominator. 3 fifths can be converted to fifteenths by multiplying both the 3 and the 5 by 3. So we're left with 9 fifteenths. Adding 2 fifteenths and 9 fifteenths gives us 11 fifteenths. This fraction cannot be simplified, so this is the final answer to this question. Here's the whole problem. If you like, pause the video at this point and review all the steps we carried out. Then resume the video to see another example. Here's another example, 3 fifths times 1 eighth minus 1 quarter times 1 fifth. At the top of bed mass is B for brackets. We see there are no brackets in this question, so we can skip brackets and go on to the next operation. Also, we see there's no exponents in this question, so we can skip exponents and go on to the next operations, which are division and multiplication. Our first multiplication is 3 fifths times 1 eighth. We cannot simplify the diagonals, so we just multiply these together. 3 times 1 is 3, and 5 times 8 is 40. So the product of these is just 3 fortieths. Another multiplication in our question is 1 quarter times 1 fifth. 1 times 1 is 1, and 4 times 5 is 20. So the product of these is 1 twentieth. The question now is 3 fortieths minus 1 twentieth. There is no more multiplication or division, so we move down to addition and subtraction. The question is a subtraction, 3 fortieths minus 1 twentieth. When adding or subtracting, we must have a common denominator. The fraction 1 20th is the same as 2 40th. So our question is now 3 40th minus 2 40th, which is 1 40th. This is the final answer to our question. Here's the whole problem. If you like, you can pause the video and review all the steps. Mm -hmm.